and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami, and on this channel we focus mainly on graphic design. So yeah, let's get started. So this is my mood board and as you can see the idea for the cereal box is a retro and vintage vibe. And I decided to go with a mascot as the main visual for this packaging and I've designed this mascot, this sketch on Procreate and as you can see it's just a bowl of cereal with legs, arms and it's holding a spoon of its cereal. So I'll throw it into Illustrator just to neaten all the lines and just do a couple tweaks and then I'm going to throw it into Photoshop just to begin the actual front of the packaging. When removing a background that has white bits in it there is this method that I use which is Control A, Control X, Q, Control V, Q, Control Shift I, Shift F5 which removes the white areas and keeps the blacks and this is what I did here. This is the three fonts that I have decided on and they're all very fun and bold and they are vintage retro feel. And I decided to go with the first font as the bottom one was a bit too curvy, especially like with the M and the middle font was a bit too chunky and then the top font was the right size, it was still very bold and it was a bit more straight compared to the bottom one which was very curved. And I want the main colour to be black as this would really stand out against all the colourful and bold cereals that are already out there on the shelf. However, there's something that I wanted to try out which is this sort of sunburst spiral kind of effect and I'm using a yellow and this sort of cream so I got this sunburst effect but it didn't work as much as I wanted it to. This is something that I saw also in my mood board but as I wanted the background to be mainly black I could either place it into a circle and then it would cause the mascot to not be able to stand out so I decided to remove this sunburst effect. So next I'm putting ESTD. The reason why I go for ESTD is because I want this symmetry. So there is four letters on the left and four numbers on the right. And next I'm gonna place the Mr. Crunch on a curve around the actual circle. And I think placing it into this sort of curve interacts better with the actual mascot and it's seen more as one. So next I'm going to use an adobe stock of cereal as it's very important to show what's inside the packaging either by literally showing what's inside or a visual of it. And the way I took away the white background is the first method that I tried to remove the white background on this cereal didn't work as it was taking some of the actual white particles in the cereal. And then another method that I tried didn't take away the shadows from underneath the cereal. So what I did was select subject, which basically took this subject and I was able to take away this background. So next I'm going to add some texture onto the actual mascot and the words. And this texture is again in Adobe stock and it's, I believe it's literally called something like retro patterns. And of course I'm going for this retro vintage vibe which will obviously really work with adding this sort of effect, this texture, just to give this mascot a bit of edge and I think it definitely does work very well as it just adds a little bit of more interest. And then for the actual circle I decided to go with another adobe stock and this is of a white wall and this white wall is very textured. and. I clicked multiply and then it just gave this subtle effect where it doesn't take too much focus as much as the first pattern did so it worked very well. So as you can see I had this cereal at the bottom which wasn't really working, I wasn't really sure what to do in the middle so the next thing that I decided to do was to place it into the circle as if I was showing the inside of the box so the cereal and then and I added this glass effect which I got from Google by just typing glass texture or glass effect and then I added some extra highlights just to enhance this light so it's as clear as possible to 
let the person, the viewer, know that this is supposed to be a view of the inside. As obviously it's hard to tell in these sort of mock-ups and graphics when you can't really see the actual packaging. However, the problem that I had was that the mascot wasn't really standing out enough. So what I decided to do was fill in the gaps as before I had some of the areas were outlines and some of it were solid. So I decided to just go for all solid. So I went back to the circle that we had before with the texture and I did that by just removing those specific areas of cereal. And next I added some shadows from the actual circle onto the cereal as well as the mascot as this would be some sort of sticker that would also leave some sort of shadow. And finally we are getting to the bottom half of packaging and I decided to go with the words made with 100% whole grain oats and I'm going to highlight or underline the word 100% as the target audience for this is also very health conscious. And the next thing that I decided to do is add the sort of measurements and grams of like salt, sugar, fat. However, this obviously didn't really work as I wanted it to, as I also wanted to include the traffic light system as products in the UK are supposed to have these traffic light systems. So of course, for this packaging, we wouldn't want to break these rules plus from this traffic light system that this is something healthy by the greens and the ambers and not the reds. And of course, I also added a vegan sign that I just quickly got from Google and I altered the text to the font that I'm using so everything just fits together. And I got this traffic light system again from Google and of course, this is mainly green and amber as it's supposed to be a healthy cereal. And again, I'm changing the top and bottom text to the font that I'm using just so everything is cohesive. So by removing the actual measurements and grams of the salt, sugar, fats, I had to fill in the area. And what I did was remove the made with and just kept 100% whole grain. And I kept the underline and make the whole text bigger just to fill this area up. And I believe this works much better as going simple is better than having too much distraction and something that would be really busy and hard to look at if we kept on adding more elements. So next I got a mock-up from Google by just typing in cereal box mock-up PSD and that's free and so I have the front of the actual packaging however on this mock-up we also have the side. So what I decided to do is have the side showing the insides of the cereal as I think it's a very important part, again, from the side and the front to be able to see what you're going to be eating and what it looks like before buying it. And next, I decided to change the background just to make it more interesting for this mock-up. And I have added two adobe stocks of the textured white wall from before, as well as a backdrop. And again, you can definitely find something similar on Google. And then I've added some extra shadows from the box onto the background just to give this whole image more life. And I'll be adding more shadows on the box later on. So I wasn't really liking the whole open area on the side and I wanted to still have the open area but not as much as I had. So I covered the, a bit of the bottom and a bit of the top and on the bottom I just added some text and this usually could be specific ingredients. But this is just an example so I wasn't really focused on adding specific ingredients. And on the top I have just added the Mr. Crunch and added the texture that we used before. Then I added some more highlights on the actual plastic as well as adding some general shadow on the box. And yeah, this is the final product. This is the front and this is the front and side as well as the background from the mock-up and I think it has turned out very well and I'm very happy with the actual outcome. I hope you liked my final design. And if you did, please give it a like, subscribe and comment. And you can also check me out on Instagram. Bye.